questions. They asked me my occupation. I said, I'm a boxer. They asked me what city I was returning from. I said, London. They asked me the purpose of my trip. I said, sex, drugs, and spoken word. I'm here with my man, C.R. Avery. Now here you are part of Tofu. Tons of fun university. Yeah, it's, the name was picked Shane and Mike. Shane Coyzen and Mike McGee, two large poets. They're both national champions. Shane's got a photographic memory. He can memorize other people's work really fast. So he just kind of memorized Mike's stuff and just started this thing called Tons of Fun University. And they thought they would just tour around as two funny poets. Uh, Vancouver Folk Fest popped up. That well, we should become a musical act. Push the envelope. So they brought me into the fold. What's your favorite class when you're attending Tons of Fun University? Definitely laughter. It's the key class. Laughter 101. Mike McGee is one of the most funniest men in the world. Just mentioning Mike McGee. Mighty Mike McGee. What makes Mike so damn mighty? He overcame a lot. He had a crazy childhood. Could have been, it should have been dead, but he didn't. His weapon is making people cry and make people laugh. People just see that in his stance. He's not fucking around. He's gonna own, own you by the end of the by the end of the show. And that's what makes him mighty. Tofu. It's been a while. It's been a while since. Is there going to be any Tofu reunions anytime soon? Tomorrow night. Yeah, he's stoked. I am because it's a secret show. Mike McGee has a show. Shane just happened to be in town to do some jive. But we do have an album that we finished just before we all kind of went our separate ways. The them they're talking about. No, that was our first album. The second was hard to say. Three years worth of touring. A material. It's a great album. Absolutely anything on any sort of pizza. What's gonna be your dream pizza? Katie Lang. She wouldn't actually have to be on the pizza. I would just like to have pizza with Katie Lang. Tom Waits pulled you up on stage. Yeah. How did that feel? It was a good night in Germany. Well, home entertainment. This was my baby's wish. So I went down to Tampa, blah, 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 blah. Better life is a dish. If I were to give you a nice 1.5 liter of Napoleon ice cream and no spoon. How would you go about eating that? Which flavor first? And how do you pronounce Napoleon ice cream? One question at a time. So. That is a good question. Excuse my hands. Can't get much deeper than that. Chocolate first? Oh no, man. Get a little bit of it all. Swirl it all together. Just go right across the right across the side. I like it. Could you use a fork? Yeah. Ice cream with a fork is a beauty. There's something thing. about it. Finally, if the sky wasn't blue, what color would it be and why? The sky isn't always blue. Sundowns, magic hour. 